Lena Stakowitz, a libero for the Adversity Wisconsin 14-1 Volleyball Club, has always been interested in studying the brain, but that interest recently became personal. Last year, Lena was diagnosed with two types of epilepsy. Her first seizure came on the final tryout date for her volleyball club. It was really scary. I think I was at the chiropractor and it just kind of, I was like getting adjusted, getting ready to go to volleyball and then it just happened. So after um, the seizure that she had on the, the last day of tryouts, she wasn't waking up as quickly as we would have hoped. Um, so we obviously called the ambulance, got her to Children's Hospital. Um, it's scary and you don't really know like what's next, what's gonna happen. Um, but we were kind of hopeful that it wouldn't be anything major. It was just a lot of emotions and it was really stressful. I actually, I cried a lot. Lena spent a week at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin as they tried to understand what was triggering her seizures and where in the brain they were coming from. There was a lot of pain, like having those wires connected to my head, the glue. Um, I had IVs that hurt. They like, it was just a lot of stuff that kind of, it hurt, but they did have really good food, so. During that week-long hospital stay, Lena and her family finally got some answers. When we found out it was two different types of epilepsy, we had a lot more learning to do. We weren't quite sure, like, what does that mean? Does that mean she's going to have more or less? Um, are the medications going to work? So there's a lot of people out there with epilepsy, and, and it doesn't work. The, medic the medication doesn't work, so they have a more difficult road. Um, we've been fortunate enough that the medication helps. We adjusted pretty quickly, but there's always that added stress of like, is it when is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? How long is it going to last? And is it is it going to like result in something really bad for me, or will I be able to continue on with what I'm doing? Her diagnosis didn't stop her from playing the game she loves. The gym is her happy place, and the team has become her support system. So my, my coaches are very, very, very helpful. They know how to do my meds. They know how to like they they know to like just kind of let it happen. Um, my, my teammates, <laughs> my teammates are very helpful. They're like, they're super sweet. They're awesome. Um, they really help with the water, like, cause that's one of my triggers. If I don't drink enough water, like I'll come off of the court if I've been on for a while and they'll grab my water bottle and they'll squirt it in my mouth. So I just, ha my teammates are awesome. The coaches make sure that she understands what's going on, make sure she didn't miss anything. Cause they can, they can tell when she has some of her smaller ones. Um, and they help out with that. They bring her into the, the practice facility to get her extra time if she needs it, if she kind of missed something. So they've been great. Um, March 26th is Purple Day for epilepsy. We had a tournament that day. Everybody showed up like purple nail polish, purple like t-shirts, uh, shoelaces. One of the coaches wore a purple wig. Like it was fantastic for them to just show up and show that they're here for her. And you know, she's, she's part of the team, part of the, the family. Lena has two main goals for the future. One of my coaches, she plays at the collegiate levels, and I really want to do that. Um, I also, okay, so <laughs> my job that I want to be when I'm older, I want to be a pediatric neurologist, and that kind of kind of help people like me. Yeah, I just kind of want to work work with kids and the brain. I'm extremely proud of her. She's been, it's kind of ironic. She's been interested in the brain and studying the brain since she was a little kid. Um, when she was in second grade, she started a charity for patients going through brain trauma at one of the local hospitals. So to have something like this happen to her, it was it was almost like a calling, right? Like she's she's interested in the brain, and this gives her something more to to learn about and dig into. And I think it's really going to help her just continue to grow and go through that um, passion and really want to help other people. And I just I love watching her continue to do what she loves, inspire others, and, and keep growing.